A patient today asked about starting an MAOI, a monoamine oxidase inhibitor. Um, this individual had been suffering with major depressive disorder for quite some time, um, and they weren't responding to Prozac or fluoxetine, which they were taking. And in the past, they had also failed trials uh, with another SSRI. They failed a trial with an SNRI. They failed augmentation with Wellbutrin and an SGA and lithium, and they failed um, a trial with augmenting with thyroid hormone. We had tried to utilize nortriptyline, a tricyclic antidepressant, and it was uh, ineffective. And we decided that um, moving forward the trial of an MAOI, even though they're not used very frequently, um, because the main reason is because of your um, needing to, to keep a low tyramine diet and how complicated that can be and how important that is to prevent a hypertensive crisis from occurring. Um, but for this individual, we thought that it was warranted because of the severe of the depression and because it was so treatment resistant to other options. They wanted to try an MAY basically before going to ECT or electroconvulsive therapy. Um, because they were taking Prozac, um, it was incredibly important for us to talk about um, waiting four to six weeks before starting an MAOI. This is actually, um, it can be really problematic for patients starting MAOIs. And, and the reason for this washout period is what it's called, is because MAOIs basically make it so that you can't break down these monoamine uh, oxidase, these, excuse me, these monoamines. And so if you have a different antidepressant in your system and you start an MAOI, you could end up with very high concentrations of the neurotransmitters that the first medication was increasing the availability of. And this could lead to uh, very serious or deadly um, consequences like serotonin syndrome, um, which is caused by someone having um, too much serotonin in their system um, and it, uh, it can be deadly. And so when starting an MAOI, um, in general, for most uh, individuals who are on an antidepressant, you have to wait at least two weeks um, after they stop, they come down, come off of their antidepressant and are on basically nothing um, for two weeks. But if an individual is on an antidepressant like Prozac, in this case, that has a very long half-life, um, then they need to wait closer to five uh, or even six weeks before starting the MAOI, which really complicates um, the picture. Now for this individual, we decided that it was safe to do so, although they had a very severe, uh, had been in a very severe depression for a long period of time. They had a very nice support network and people that were available uh, to be with them and to monitor their, them and their mood while they came down or off of their uh, first anti, uh, the, the previous antidepressant. They were working with a therapist and knew that I could have frequent communication with that individual so that if their mood started to really get worse and there was concern about suicide risk, um, that they would also likely reach out to me and I could reach out to them if I had any concerns as well. But as you can imagine, this is an additional barrier to using MAOIs, needing to have a washout period of anywhere from two to even six weeks, depending on the antidepressant the person was previously on before starting an MAOI.